Yes, indeed, folks. You're tuning in at Blue Please here on WoW Radio with myself, Total Biscuit. I've got a couple of things to say before I go on. Firstly, if you like the track you just heard, it's by Frank Klopaki. It's from his new album, Infiltrator. It is available on iTunes and on his website, frankklopaki.com. That will be posted on the channel. Those who don't know, it's spelled F-R-A-N-K-K-L-E-P-A-C-K-I.com. He is the composer for many legendary games, such as basically all the good Command & Conquer games. June 2000. Nox, and a bunch of other really cool things. We have him on the show. It's been delayed for a while because of my ISP connections, but but most likely by tomorrow there will be a brand new episode of Gaming the System, a bumper episode, almost three hours long, I might add. Massive episode of Gaming the System with a big interview with Frank Klopaki, the legend of gaming composition. Absolutely amazing in every way. He's a great guy, and you should... Go and check his stuff out, because it is well worth the purchase. I am so impressed with his latest album, Infiltrator. It is amazing. His music is stunning. You've heard some of it on the show. If that hasn't convinced you, well, you're all silly. You're not convinced? You're silly! (laughs) Simple as that. How cool is that music? So awesome. So yeah, check out Gaming the System. That should be available as a podcast tomorrow. As those of you are aware, unfortunately, it's not able to air live because of equipment failure that is going to cost quite a bit of money to replace. Now, I can get it warranted, but I really have to get back to the States for that because otherwise I will be unable to broadcast for months without that equipment. So yeah, it's podcast only. I hate doing things podcast only, honestly, but the show must go on and Gaming the System is a great gaming show. Speaking of great gaming shows... You should listen to Octel and Hordak, which is 7 p.m. BST, 2 p.m. EST on Sundays on WCRadio.com. You want to know why you should listen to that show? Because that show is the best gaming show I have ever heard on the net, ever, from anybody at all. And I've listened to a lot of gaming shows. You know, I try and get my news from a lot of different sources. I try and listen to some of these podcasts that are considered to be popular and good. And I'm going to be honest, I have never, ever heard a show that could even compare to Octel and Hordak versus the world. Seriously, the synergy and the chemistry between those three hosts is blinding. The content is there, it's great discussion, it's very funny, it's incredibly well produced. I'm so proud to have those guys on our network. They excel in every way. Every last one of them. So go and check out that show, if you haven't already. If you haven't already, then good lord, you've been missing out. Go check it out. All of the archives are available on our website and on iTunes wcradio.com right I think it's time we'll let you have a say it's the illusion of choice Uh, I'm going to be (laughs) self-indulgent this one is from Magnus Hestivian I'm going to read it out for you he says this does reading wow news on the internet make you elitist well I believe that someone said it best when they said something along the lines of this. It's not playing, is it? There we go. (laughs) Oh, dear. Yeah. It's hard work. It's so hard. So, his email goes along this. Hi, TB. Hargrim, level 80, undead priest on Balnazar EU, writing in. I have an issue with an attitude problem among players that seems to be growing of late, and that is players who call others who read WoW-related news on the internet elitists. Let me stop you there. The best counter to that is, you're an idiot. If you think that, if you think that reading WoW-related news on the internet makes you an elitist, you are an idiot. You are everything that's wrong with the world. Anti-intellectualism, deliberate pride in ignorance is a disgrace to the human race. It will be the death of us. I kid you not. This behavior should be stamped on as hard as humanly possible. You see that player there? That player that believes that? That is a bug crawling across your table. What do you do to a bug that's going across your table? You do this. You smash them. You smash that bug. That's what you do. You show no mercy. You show no remorse. You show no regrets. For coming down as hard as you can. Like a ton of bricks from the sky above. On a player like that. It's not just players. It's not just about them ruining your game experience. It is about the sheer ignorance of elements of the human race. 
It's going that far. I'm not making this up. You can see it everywhere. I'm not going to name specific countries, but I can tell you for a fact, there's people like this in every country. These anti-intellectuals. These guys who take pride in their own ignorance. Now, let me talk about my country. My country has a group of people in it. Now, we like to refer to them as chavs. Council housed and violent. They live on the dole. They don't have a job, or if they do, it's a terrible dead-end job. Soul-crushing. They do nothing with their lives. They do not raise their children well. Their children become criminals, juveniles. They do nothing to enhance the community. They simply take, take, take. They live for the sake of existing. They do not care about anything beyond celebrity magazines and football. These people need to be stamped out. And if you see behavior like that in World of Warcraft, or anywhere in real life, you should make an effort to stamp it out. I'll read a bit of his email. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Usually I don't get surprised when people fail to notice patch notes and other important WoW-related stuff, because WoW is filled with, well, somewhat less intelligent people. But when my guildmates get surprised when I mention the return of Anixia or the coming of Cataclysm, I tend to ask them if they've been living under a rock for the past few months. When I do, they usually get upset, and I often hear replies like, not everyone is an elitist who patrols the internet for World of Warcraft-related news. Yes, and your response to that is, not everyone's lazy, not everyone's pathetic, not everyone revels in their own stupidity and mediocrity. Not everyone does that, and thank God, thank the Lord above, or whatever God or non-God you believe in, whether you be atheist, Hindu, Jew, Christian, Muslim, maybe you believe in the flying spaghetti monster and his noodly appendages, I don't care. But thank whatever deity or non-deity that you believe in, that not everyone is like that. Because if they were, we'd all be dead. Every last one of us. The world would have been wiped out by now. They just killed each other. Probably still be living in caves. Thank God for the exceptional people. Thank God for those who have ambition. Thank God for those who push the envelope. In everything, in every walk of life, it matters in every walk of life. Even something that just doesn't affect the real world at all, like a game. World of Warcraft. Thank God for those who push the envelope. Because if they didn't, then the games would never advance. The genre wouldn't go anywhere. Development wouldn't go anywhere. If we weren't interested in the latest technology, if we weren't playing to the highest possible echelons and levels, we would not get the challenging content. We wouldn't get the great games. We wouldn't get the innovation because we, as exceptional gamers, demand that innovation. We demand the production values. We demand good products. Not the mediocre players who are just happy with what they get. Not the mediocre players who say, Oh, but you're so elitist. Ah. Like, oh, you use a fight stick on Street Fighter 4? Ah, you're an elitist. Or, ah, you bought a deliberately great pad for Street Fighter 4? You're an elitist. I just want to use the Street Fighter 4 pad. Why do you keep beating me so? Oh, you're such an elitist. Shut up. Be better. Do something with your life. Even if it's just in the area of a hobby. Do something to make yourself better. Do something to improve yourself in any walk of life. <sighs> anyway, the email continues. The same thing applies to finding information about the game on the internet. When someone from my guild asks about the best talent spec for raids or where certain things drop, I usually just answer with a link to Wowhead. There are also a great bunch of people who think of that as rude when doing this and say things like, I'm not that hardcore. What is hardcore about visiting a website? What is hardcore about learning your own class? What is hardcore about doing your own research? Lord. It's like... It's a, I met people like this before. I've met people who have, when sitting in front of a word processor with ready access to a dictionary, th th thesaurus, and the internet, have asked me how to spell a word. Are you serious? It's right there! Not only should you already know this to begin with, but you've got all of these resources at your very fingertips. Stop being so dependent! Stop being parasites! And I do mean it. Parasites on humanity. So dependent on other people. Incapable of making decisions for themselves. Led by the media. Led by celebrity magazines. Led by what their friends tell them to do. Pushed around by peer pressure. Part of some kind of herd. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to get into the whole idiocracy sheeple rubbish because that's incredibly pretentious. 
I'm not going to state that everyone in the world is stupid. No, the majority of people in the world are not stupid. I am willing to believe in the goodness of humanity in general, but there are a chunk of people who need to either be re-educated or destroyed. In one way or the other. And by destroyed, I'm talking about intellectually destroyed. Humiliated to the point where they are forced to change their ways. Through whatever means necessary. And that applies to all walks of life, including inside a video game. Where these people degrade your play experience. They make it less fun for you. You should care about this. That is why. I'm not talking about you should care about MP5. You should care about the quality of the people you play with. Because this is an MMO and you can't avoid them. You're supposed to be playing with them. That's the whole point. That's why it's an MMO. Massively multiplayer. Not five-man multiplayer. Not small form multiplayer. Not single player. Massively multiplayer. So it's in your best interest to ensure that you have a well-educated and good player base. Because otherwise they will directly impede on your enjoyment. That idiot in the pug with the terrible spec and the 600 GPS, that is the kind of person we're talking about here. The guy who spams trade channel, asking stupid questions, making trade channel unusable for people, who starts arguments over stupid stuff. As to, where's this, where's this, what's this, why can't I get into a good guild, blah, 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 blah. Shut up. Stop talking. Do something with your life. Educate yourself. And don't tolerate it, those smart people around here. Those people who have the right attitude, not the wrong attitude. They don't expect everything to be delivered to them on a silver platter. You want to be called elitist over that? If people want to call you elitist, embrace that. Embrace that elitism. Elitism. Interesting word. Derivative of elite. The definition of elite, folks. Exceptional. Top tier. I don't know where all these negative connotations came from. Honestly. I can't imagine. A group or class is a definition of people of s- who enjoy a superior intellectual, social, or economic status. The best or most skilled members of a group. When the hell has that been a bad thing? Explain that to me. The intellectual connotations of that are mind-boggling. And indeed, the intellectual consequences of this anti-intellectualism, oh, they wreak havoc. They wreak havoc. Don't let it. Don't let this happen. For God's sake, stomp these people into the ground if you see them. Turn them into fine paste. They'll learn. It's the only way they will learn, but they'll learn. Never, ever, ever give in to these people. Never do it. Because as soon as you do, that's it. Game over for what you love. That's for sure. My name is Total Biscuit. You've been listening to Blue Please. Thank you ever so much for listening. As always, you have been an amazing audience. Shindy shout-outs to me right now over the next couple of minutes. Ah, my voice is going, as you can tell. Too much shouting today. The Merlock at gmail.com. That is the Merlock at gmail.com. Alternatively, irc.mmoirc.com. Hatch or pound. Wow Radio. Click the chat button at the top of the screen on wcradio.com. If you do not have an IRC client of your own. Alternatively, if you are on Twitter... Very easy. At sign, Total Biscuit. At Total Biscuit. Send it over. I'll get it out over the next couple of minutes. Shout out time, folks. Slaytana says shout out to Night Shift on Vash US in Soviet Russia. There you go. You can have that. Absolutely. Shout outs coming in over IRC, storming the internet. Can I get a shout out to my best buddy, Lupa, who is listening at the first, at the moment, for putting up with me for the last few weeks. Thanks from Steve's, the undead mage on Cadgar. Yes, you can. A shout out to my brother, John. That's from some random WoW Radio guy who has no name. WoW Radio 912. I'm sure your brother, John, recognizes you. A shout out to Penguin, Vodka, and the idiotic people who still want to break my bloody sheep in instances. Can I have a shout out to anyone who... uh, what 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 the hell is that? Rich Wharf, you make no sense. You cannot spell. Apparently, Rich Wharf needs a new guild on Hellscream EU. If you need a healer, then Rich Wharf is offering. Yes, he is. He's offering himself to you. I'm scared. Hey, Tall Biscuit, great show as usual. Thank you. I'd just like to give a huge shout out to my guild Ilu for returning to raid this week. That's actually not guild at all. Guild leader Ilu. For returning to raid with us this week while recovering from a collapsed lung. Hardcore. You get this drop in. Epic. That's from Harask from the guild IDDQD on the server Burning Steps EU. Can I get a shout out to Kazuma and his guild Initium on Stormrage EU. 
Yes. Yes, you can. He doesn't say who from. It's from Tom, whatever. Ildeuce, Thunderlord. Shout out. Okay. Can I give a shout out to Mac and Cheese for helping me learn the game, paying for my subscription when I was broke, just being an all round awesome dude? Yes. Yes, you can. You are, in fact, an all round awesome dude. One last shout out. So I've got to go. I'll take a shout out to those people who always do two and a half thousand plus DPS as a fresh 80, putting people in next 25 gear to shame. That is from Archeon. That is what you should aspire to. That. That is elite. That is excellence. I'm out of here, folks. Check out the rest of our shows on WCRadio.com. You'll be glad that you did. They're all awesome. Rate and review us using iTunes. If you like what I do on the show here, the tip jar is open. PayPal, TotalBiscuit at gmail.com. Very much appreciated. An honor, in fact, to do this show for you without a shadow of a doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of here. Drink to the rest of the evening. <laughs>